So we, we have to do it. Uh, there's no, no way that we can uh, rationalize to not do it. <laughs> Therefore, um, our purpose is to teach at least one disciple and bring them to self-realization as quickly as possible. That's why we're doing this retreat, by the way. This retreat is going to be about intense sadhana. Not so much preaching, not so much about collecting money, not so much about uh, living an opulent lifestyle, but it's going to be about sadhana, chanting the holy name. We're going to chant the holy name as much as possible because that is our main process. And also studying the scriptures and all that good stuff. Uh, a little uh, ceremonial worship of the Lord, the deities and like that. But the main process is going to be chanting. So we hope that you will join us. And if you can't join us physically, at least join us spiritually and try to increase your chanting of the mantra, either the Dvarasakshara mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, or the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. And uh, you notice, we don't chant this Hare Krishna mantra square. <laughs> huh? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. No, we chant it with a flowing rhythm that's derived from the uh, lengths of the Sanskrit syllables. Sanskrit syllables come in two lengths, short and long. The short is one pada, or one beat long. And the long syllables are two beats long, two padas long. So in Hare, for example, the first syllable is short and the second syllable is long. So it's not Hare, it's Hare. Huh? Hare Krishna. In Krishna, both syllables are short because there's no long vowels. The R in Kr is short and the A in Shna is short. So Kr, Shna. There, by the way, there's no I sound. It's not Krishna. It's Krishna. So Hare Krishna. Huh? The Hare is long. And then Krishna is both short. And then in Rama, Ram, the first A in Ram is long. So it's held for two beats, Ra. And then the A in Ma is short. So it's Rama. Huh? So when you chant, you should chant according to the Sanskrit rhythms. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay? Then there's another thing I'd like to point out, that in the mantra, there are four times when there are three words in a row the same. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like that. So when you chant it, you should chant it in a flowing rhythm. It shouldn't be square, you know? That's for squares, man. So we don't want to be like that. We want to flow along with the rhythm of the rasa dance. So when you chant Japa, it should sound like Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Listen to Prabhupada's tape of chanting Japa. It's called Group Japa. There's another one that's Japa called Japa by Example, where Prabhupada chants square. Why? Because he's dealing with neophytes. He's dealing with uh, newcomers. He's trying to instruct them. He's just trying to get them to chant any old way. Uh, but when you hear him chanting by himself or chanting uh, with a group of close students, he chants in the Indian way, in the Sanskrit way. 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे रे रे राम हरे राम 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 हरे रे एंड ही ऑल्सो चैंस अकॉर्डिंग टू अ लिटल ट्यून एन इम्प्रोवाइज ट्यून अ रागा एक्चुअली he stays in one raga throughout the whole chanting uh, process and uh, he improvises a tune in that raga if you listen to prabhupad's chanting tape you'll hear that he does not chant in a monotone uh, and he doesn't even chant to a set uh, tune he improvises a tune according to a particular raga uh, you'll hear him chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare It's beautiful it's it's creative it's a song it's not just a a, a dull boring monotonous repetitive chant <laughs> it's a uh, sound representation of the supreme personality of godhead and so it should be beautiful it should be creative it should be uh flexible and responsive to our moods and our attitudes huh there's so many ragas and you can chant in any raga there are three elements in chanting mantras the text which is called mantra itself uh the uh, the rhythm which is the what we just discussed and then the tune which is called raga so so mantra uh matra and raga the text the rhythm and the tune and all three of them should be harmonious and beautiful and bona fide uh, for the mantra to be chanted properly uh, don't don't be a square man come on get hip uh chant in a flowing way chant in a natural way uh this is our most natural uh position is actually to be in relationship with krishna you know it took me a long time to figure this all out so i'm trying to share it with you so that you can progress quicker than i did of course i had a lot of people helping me to to be confused uh my dear god brothers uh, they didn't get it but they thought they got it and so uh, they tried to stop people like me from uh going deeper into the mantra and finding um uh, the more bona fide ways to chant and they were saying oh it's okay to chant any old way you know like that uh i remember one devotee i won't give any names but he used to chant like ek snake 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 it 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 nam 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 I mean this is not the Hare Krishna mantra I don't know what it is <laughs> but he used to chant like that and um, so we had so many uh, strange variations on the Hare Krishna mantra yet the, for years every single morning we would play that tape of Prabhupada chanting japa and nobody tried to chant like Prabhupada this is a very strange and perplexing to me how can we listen to prabhupad chanting for so many years and not try to chant the same way that he does uh the same thing with kirtan prabhupad has so many kirtan tapes well, how many people chant according to the tunes that prabhupad uses on his kirtan tapes not too many hmm? hardly ever in fact so they got those tunes from some place else from somebody else some from some other teacher or some other lineage or some other temple why didn't prabhupad make enough recordings of chanting that we have to use other people's tunes uh you know what is that um the thing is prabhupad's chanting is very sophisticated prabhupad's chanting is very deep so when people hear prabhupad's chanting uh it's like it they miss it it goes over their heads it they don't hear it actually they can't hear it they don't have a sufficiently developed hearing to be able to duplicate prabhupad's chanting um i was very fortunate i had years of training as a musician even conservatory ear training and eurythmics and things like that where the the, the main skill that we were taught is how to duplicate sound vibrations huh 
So the first step of learning spiritual life or spiritual sound, uh, especially the chanting process, is to learn how to duplicate the sound vibration. Now, this seems so obvious to me that it, it doesn't even need to be spoken. It doesn't even need to be said, but apparently it does because I see so many other devotees chanting in a monotonous, uh, you know, very square way. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama. This is not the Maha Mantra. This is something else. This is your concoction. Uh, if you listen to Prabhupada, he chants, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram, with force, with clarity, with rasa. Uh, the chanting should be done with rasa. It should be beautiful. It should be relishable. It should be done uh, passionately and with